need people to come forward and say, hey, I'm good at that. I've, I do that for a living. Let me help, let me help my people. So that we also need. Um, we also need uh, Is it something about PR, PR marketing, mm -hmm. yeah. media, communications. So again, just because of the current work that we're doing, all these people have come to us and said, hey, I'm, I work in PR, uh, I work in media, I work at the BBC, I, I work at CNN, and let me help you. Uh, and that's, that's invaluable for us. Of course. So again, we say to our people, if you are good at public relations work, if you're good at media liaison, because currently, you know, Johnny and I, uh, you know, when we spoke to Wall Street Journal, uh, Andrew Higgins, uh, Andrew Higgins, you know, we, we were the ones that developed that story with Andrew. You know, the, it, it went on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. You know, we're talking to him, you know, daily, you know, while he was in Tor Abdin trying to, trying to write a story about the monitor. You know, we, we, you know, we're contacting media constantly, but you know, we're, not, we're not fantastic at it, to be quite blunt about it. it there are people who are more specialized yeah. at media videos on than me. Um, I don't know you, Johnny, but... Uh, well, history we... is my specialty. <laughs> the history so, of our people, so... So um, it's different fields where you yeah. can put up your work. Yeah. So well, you need the specialization. Absolutely, we need specialization. Well, again, this is our message. Like, let them... Um, let them join the organization. We give them all the freedom to work as best yeah. as they can. Correct. I mean, they are autonomous in this, and we give them this freedom. Yes. You know, only in this this way they can excel. Exactly. Well, well let's way. let's make a call now through this screen together. If you, for our uh, dear viewers, that uh, if you heard us now, if you are somebody who is good in PR, public relations, or media, if you are good in economics, if you're good in Whatever. Uh, in law, international law, Correct. or any law, what else? What uh, well, it's also uh, in administration. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, research and development is another, research and education is another yeah. area. Yeah. So we're also focusing on that too. So we're saying that there's so many people, I mean, Johnny, Johnny, God bless him, is, is an expert in history. Ask him a question about, <laughs> about Aramean history, ask him about so many historical issues, he knows the answer. But there's other people out there that also are knowledgeable. I don't know about equally knowledgeable, but they're yeah. knowledgeable. Uh, and we want them to come, and we want them to come and work and, and help. Yeah. And, and they can, it's not only about writing papers. It's not about writing papers so we can publish them on the website. It's also about, um, you know, uh, being able to write stories for newspapers, trying to develop that articles. angle as well, articles trying to, uh, let's have some lectures. We're having lectures worldwide now. That's another plan to try to educate our young people, uh, to try to educate people in general who've, who are not too sure of their history. You know, let's talk about facts. You know, I, you know people get very emotional about our history and, and get lost in the garbage. Mm. But, you know, there's a lot of people who know facts and, and let's get them to come and join us and work with us. and and be proud of our Syriac Aramean history and, and, and try to educate others about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, to going uh, to the point that Daniel uh, mentioned now that you're so good in history, there's something I used to say, like, we Syriac people, we're so proud of our history, but we're so good in feeling sorry for ourselves too, that we had a great history, we had a a wonderful nation, we had a great culture, and look what happened to us. I mean. We all grieve for what happened to our nations. We all grieve for the genocide. We all grieve for the destiny and for even nowadays suffering for our people. But let's not just sit and, and feel sorry and pity ourselves. Mm. Let's just put our hands together to do something for the future instead of just sitting and mourning mm. and groaning. But this is a very good point. I actually said it in one of my speeches as well. I can't remember how exactly I formulated it. But it's exactly as you point out, we create an aura of, um, we create a kind of a depressive situation around ourselves, you know? And we, we talk about uh, each other as if we cannot reach things. You We're know, the we, 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 we talk about past history as if our ancestors created glorious things, and they really did. But we talk about only about history as if we cannot create similar things today, mm. you know? So, Today, what we should do is we, should, we must start believing in ourselves and in each other. We should start working with each other and we should start 
talking about each other positively. We, instead of creating negative images about each other, self-images, mm -hmm. which results in self-fulfilling prophecy, because in the end we are really believing that we cannot do it. Of course, we what are you getting say is depressive. what you believe. Exactly. Yeah. So what, what we should do is exactly the opposite. Yeah. We are a great people. We had a great nation, but we had an ancient past, a glorious past, but we have also a great future if you just work, work on it, you know? I think people need to hear this from uh, people that I'm so proud of, like you and Daniel. Uh, the words, what our people hear, like I said, it's all the time, it's uh, certain phrases that's been uh, uh, held from generation to generation without thinking of it. Let's change, like you talked about changing and changing in the infrastructure. And let's talk about not only the structure, but also the emotion, the character, the personality. That's the organizational culture, how they call it in sciences. The organizational culture is today, it's, this, needs, this demands change. What we need today is to change our uh, mentality, the psychology, uh, our, our values within the organizations need to change. Uh, I can give you an example. For instance, if, if, if you're in need of help, instead of, for instance, talking about you or whatever, or just sitting on the side, sidelines and doing nothing, I should reach a hand to you. I should, try, I should be willing to help you, you know, to, to build up together something. It is actually our duty not only to protect what we have, not only to defend things, but also to promote things and to create new things and most importantly, to make each other happy. Yeah. You know, this is also very important and sometimes we forget this. You know, we should not be content with being happy ourselves. I'm happy when you're happy, I always said to my friends. And when you're sad, I'm also sad. Yeah. And I really mean it yeah. from the bottom of my heart, you know. So, well, and the, this, this, this is, is the kind the of attitude. This is the morality and this is, you cannot do anything by yourself. I think what you mentioned now, being uh, 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 the president of the SUA and what Daniel also said, being in the, uh, the uh, first positions of the alliance, I think it makes a revelation for our people and they need it at least to hear new things, to believe in yourself, to believe in the change so that you can put it in practice. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and just, to, just to add to that, so a lot of people may say, okay, what, um, what is the Syriac Universal Alliance going to do next mm -hmm. with all of this work? Yes. So why should I join if I if I'm good at PR? If I'm good at government liaison work, if I'm good at... We forgot to mention languages too. Languages as well for translations. Yes. If, I'm, if I'm good at administration or whatever, what, what is Syriac Universal Alliance going to do next? And there's, there's so much that we want to do. So, for example, with the government liaison work, it's not just about protecting uh, our people at the UN. It's not just about that. It's not just about going to Geneva and talking about human rights issues and and trying to get acknowledgement about the monastery, trying to get acknowledgement about the homeland villages, it's, uh, so then we can protect the villages that are in the Tor Torabdin as well. It's not just about protecting our language um, or other sites that we may have, historical sites, archaeological sites. Uh, but we also can work together to go to UNESCO. So now that we're an NGO, we can go to UNESCO and go and get formal uh, protection of the Aramaic language. We get formal protection of some sites around the world, which are phenomenal archaeological sites. You know that are, these are Aramean sites. These are this is this part of our history, um, and we need to go back and we need to look at those things. And we need people. It sounds so small, you know, but we need people to go and work on this stuff. Yeah, put know? in put in people. Urge people for more qualified job. Uh, we will continue this, and this is very wide. Uh, we'll continue this after the, the break. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Thank you. 
فرسينا خو كل يوم إذا أربعة سرية يوم تحاي ما أوريكي